Hey there, all my friends online. Today, I'm gonna show you how to help your friend or family member that says, hey, I got a YouTube channel. You should go check it out. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can help your friends who are content creators. And you're like, what? Why would anyone your age start a YouTube channel? Oh God, they're going through a midlife crisis and they're bringing me down with them. They're trying to strike it rich so they can get out of this job without me. If you have that friend, drop their name and their channel in the comments. I'd like to check them out. So first, let's get into the psyche of a new, older YouTuber. Now I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking that this person is some kind of self-centered, egotistical maniac that thinks their life is so grand and so great that they have to display it to the whole world. Well, all those things could be right. I don't know your friend. If you have that friend with a channel, drop their name and their channel in the comments below. I'd love to check them out. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to support your friend that's a YouTuber and try to convince you that they have not lost their minds or going through some kind of midlife crisis. Well, maybe. Let me know in the comments below what your first thoughts were when your friend told you they had a YouTube channel. But let's go over the more likely and realistic possibility of why your friend decided to start a YouTube channel. That most likely possibility is just the simple desire to create something. You see, most people with non-creative established jobs have worked very hard to get there. When they were younger, they may have had creative interests and desires, but they excelled at more non-creative things. While they were young, they had all the time in the world to paint, to act, to sing, to dance, to entertain. But as time went by, and naturally, they pursued their more stronger gifts. Now some people are able to find balance with their creative talents and their non-creative careers, but the vast majority do not. But that desire is still present. Do you have any unfilled desires? Let me know in the comments below. But keep it clean, okay? So along comes YouTube a free, no training, no experience necessary platform to express yourself. While some discovered the platform earlier and may now have a financially successful channel, the vast majority of us are just discovering this platform to create and express ourselves. So statistically, we may never reach that level of success. I personally have learned so much about filming, lighting, editing, sound. Now I'm far from even being good, but the journey has been really fun. Now you may not agree that YouTube content creation is not artistic. If you don't, let me have it in the comments below. But to each of us, it's our Picasso, our Rembrandt, our Salvador Dali. So generally, there's not much financial reward for smaller YouTubers. Believe it or not, there's a lot of hard work that goes into filming, editing, and putting up a video. And sometimes you need a little pat on the back. So with that being said, in that background, I wanna give you the top ways to support your friend that's a YouTuber or content creator. Number one, your view. Now we know you're a busy person and you just may not have time for YouTube like that, but your view is so incredibly important. So let's get started. First, you're gonna go onto YouTube and you're gonna search for your friend's channel and you're gonna check out the video that they recommended or just one that you're interested in. So this is very important. If you start watching a video, you wanna to try to finish it or at least get through 70% of it. If you don't have time to watch the whole thing, then pick a shorter video. Now, most people don't know this. If you click on a video and immediately click off, that hurts. It really hurts your channel. Are you guilty of clicking on and clicking right off? Let me know in the comments down below. And let me explain what I mean by hurting their channel. When you click on and click immediately off, it sends a signal to YouTube that that video is so horrible, people can't even stand it for a second. So if you really wanna help them out, watch the video from the beginning to the end, or like I said, at least 70% of that video. Hey, I know you got stuff to do. Just listen to it in the background and do your busy work. Now, for these next suggestions on how to help your friend that's a YouTuber, you're gonna have to log on to YouTube. That means you've logged in by putting in your user ID and your password. If you're not logged in, you're gonna see a blank avatar up in the corner. And if you try to do any of these next steps without being logged in, it's gonna prompt you to log in. So go ahead and log into YouTube. If you don't have an account already, why not? There's so many things you can learn from YouTube. I can't tell you how many things I've fixed around the house just from watching YouTube videos. Okay, now that you're signed in, you're gonna see your avatar in the upper corner. And now we can get on to number two, your likes. So when you watch their video, go ahead and give it a like, hit that like button. This is gonna let YouTube know that that video was actually good enough for someone to not only watch, but they also liked it. Number three. Now, if you're kind of new to YouTube, this may be a little bit tricky. If you're on a mobile device, you'll find the comment drop down here. 
You can leave a question, you can just say hello, or just say, hey, how you doing? And let me tell you, your YouTuber friend will think you're just the best. Number four, your video shares. If you really wanna do the dang thing and show the next level of YouTuber support, share their video. Share it on your Facebook, share it on your Twitter, share it on your Instagram, share it wherever you like. I mean, if you know someone who's actually interested in the topic they're discussing, go ahead and share it with them. I mean, seriously, we share a lot of informative and not so informative crazy things. Why not help out a friend and share their video? As you scroll down, you can kind of see you have the option to share it through text messages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, whatever form you choose. Number five, your subscription. As you probably already know, it's good to have a higher subscriber count. YouTube rewards those channels by putting them in their recommendation list. So that increases your friend's channel chances of getting seen by other people. Number six, watch more videos. If you feel so inclined, check out a few more videos. At the end of each video, they'll have more of their videos recommended or playlists of their videos recommended. So I hope I've convinced you that your friend is not crazy or lost their mind or going through some midlife crisis. They just wanna try something new and they can really use your support. So now I want you to tell me about your friend and your friend's channel. Go ahead and write it down in the comments below. Like I said, I'd love to go check them out. Also, if you're a fellow content creator, go ahead and share this with friends and family to help you put the word out. And if you're also a content creator, let me know how it's going for you. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And if anybody asks you where you got these awesome ideas to help your content creative friend, tell them, my friend Jen, online. Okay, people who've been here before, I hope you're appreciating this big hair I got going for you. Like it? Uh -huh. Like it? Like it? Like it? Uh, like it? Shiny. Ooh, so shiny. Get down some of that shine. <laughs>